Oh guys, come on, back with another Shinobi Life 2 video. And you guys already know that when I'm on the main menu, you know I got codes for you guys. So let's just get straight to the codes. You guys already know the video title. All of the Jinjuriki spawn points. Not spawn, well, yeah, spawn points. Basically where they spawn. I'm gonna show you guys all of that. I have some pictures and whatnot to show you guys. So uh, let's get to this really quick. So we got four new codes. First one we got is Rel Sari. Bang, I already used it as you guys saw. And they fixed their code system. So now we put them in first try, it should work. I already used that one. Sorry, I should probably put it up. So rel number one, and then rel sorry. Alright. And then a another one. Pretty sure I didn't use this one. Get noob. Oh, I did use that one. It's get noob. And then I didn't use this one. Big code. Sorry. This one gives you 25 spins. Boom. Look at that. Ooh, all right anyways well done with that codes off of the video now let us get to all the spawn locations from starting from the first tail so let's just go to the sand all right so obviously the first tail shikaku spawns in the sand village and uh you can always check the time by you know looking at your menu and whatnot but i'm only here to show you guys locations all right, so you want to come out of Sand Village and head straight to the right. Just go a hard right until you hit a cave. Let me speed this up to show you guys. All right, right here when you see this big hole that's how you know you in the right place you in the right place all right boom right here this big open spot this is where you're gonna fight shikaku let me put up an image to like represent kind of where he is because i don't have a picture for this one so just a big image of shikaku right there bam all right now let's move on to the next one all right matatabi spawns in the cloud village uh i would i would start from the little ramen shop to show you guys where it is because cloud village is very confusing to me so start from the cloud um ramen shop head to the left facing the ramen shop until you get to the bridge right here the red bridge there is another bridge i i, I think that's the samurai bridge i think you call it samurai bridge but right past this bridge is where the two tails will spawn. Right past the bridge, there's gonna be a fat open space. All right, I have an image of Matatabi right sitting over there, right over there, all right? I'll just pop it up, bam, all right? Bam, I'm Matatabi right there. On to the next one, three tails, or known as Isogu. The three tails spawn in the water village or the mist village. I don't know why I said the water village. The the hidden it's like the hidden in the water or something. So that turtle spawns in the mist makes sense in the water. Just want to head over to the big open area. The I'd say the mist bridge. It's not called the Naruto bridge, but there is a Naruto bridge in this map. I'd say the first bridge, the mist bridge. Um, really, I it's not that hard to find this bridge. I want I there goes the ramen shop right up there here's the bridge right here and the ginger key of the not the ginger key, the tail beast three tails spawn right there i think i have a picture of it bam right there all right boom boom anyways on to the fourth tailed beast the land of rock this is where the fourth tail spawns of the fourth tail beast uh son goku he actually spawns all the way away from all this like village mess bro like rock the rock or the stone village or earth village whatever you want to call it it's a fat mess I, I don't like coming here it's so bad like how are you supposed to live in this place i thought cloud was worse bro earth sucks bro. who would like to live in this place i'm not even gonna lie to you guys cloud is way cloud is better you know it's, it's a bit more organized but earth oh my god it's a fat mess it's just like somebody threw up dirt 
and made these weird mounds and whatnot. There's the built buildings on it, bro. It's just not it. Anyways, ramen shop. Well, you just want to get away from civilization, basically. Just get away from civilization or the village from the rock place, and then you'll see these two big bridges. He will spawn right over on this side, actually. I was going the wrong way for a second. He spawns right over here. And also the seven, the six tail spawn here as well. Not here, not here, but in the in the earth village. Really. And uh, right here, boom, let me put a picture. Bam. All right. So the four tail and five tails are actually like right next to each other, they're spawn points. You just wanna keep going straight forward till you see normal type of land color. See, there goes that. And you wanna come over to the sandy type of area over here. And you won't actually have to go all the way over there cause you'll just see more water and open space past this little little ravine of rocks I guess gosh there we are just above here in the fudge final valley that's what it's called there we go spawns right here right there image bam bam all right all right, for the six tail beast, or I don't, I don't even want to say Psychin, or shoot, I don't even really know how to say then. Um, he spawns past the mist bridge. There's a lot of bridges. All right, there are a lot of bridges you wanna wanna pass, like in general the game. Shoot, all most of the gens actually just spawn on bridges or by bridges. Here we go. Here's the Naruto bridge where Psyche and spawns. I think that's his name, shoot, I don't know. But seven tails, the slime, or six tails. I'm tripping, I'm tripping, six tails, six tails. He spawns on Naruto bridge, right on the left side, I believe. Left side or right side? I'm not tripping, no, right side, right side, this way. And boom, I'm not too sure of a picture, but bam, that's where he is, right where that picture is, all right? And on to the eighth tail. All right, so Chiomi or the Seven Tail is actually pretty far from this sand village. It spawns in sand, um, so I'm just gonna speed this up and show you guys kind of where it goes. Not too fast to the point where you can't follow me, but a bit, a bit, a bit fast. You know, just to speed it up a bit, not to waste your time or something. Just, you know, giving giving you um that that information fast. You know what I mean? So. You want to head to the right, like again, where we went to Shikaku, but you want to pass Shikaku actually into a, a different type of biome. You'll know what I'm talking about. As you can see, we've changed biomes now. And right where the border is, actually, is where Chiomi spawns. Right here. Right in this big tree. You see this big tree? Right behind it. Like, right where I'm standing is where it spawns. Let me back up so I can put a picture of it. Bam. I don't I don't think I have the actual picture of it, but, you know, it, it's a picture of it. All right. Really short and simple. If you guys saw the two tails where that spawned, the eight tails is right here under the red bridge i'd say right here he spawns literally right there i don't know if i have a screenshot of it but bang boom a picture of him right where he should be all right right on this bridge masatabi spawns over there uh, a tail spawns right there on to the last but not least non tails and last but definitely not least in tails all right definitely not least we got the mother forging on tails all right you want to go straight out of the village this one's a pretty easy one to find straight out the village just run out the village abandon that village all right leave his trash i'm playing with you guys uh but just straight out of it 
are run on top of a mountain because you know getting the higher view is always the strat when you're trying to find these these spawn locations because they're always going to spawn in the big locations or open location and if you guys watch my other video on Madrid Turkey I, I even said like I bet that's where the Nazi will spawn and guess what it does spawn there I didn't I didn't actually know at the time but you know I know now I know now so this is where the Nantel spawn right over there bang bang so yeah that's really all of the tail B spawns you know and before I end this video I want to just say I am so thankful for you guys this support lately I appreciate you guys so if you guys did enjoy this video or you guys learned something new you guys already know you could like can we get a hundred likes on this video and if you guys are not subscribed already subscribe we're trying to reach 20k by 2020 you already know thank you for the support guys i'll see you guys in another video peace